And we also got one of their batteries. Like, once that goes down, we could go laser happy. We're out of missiles, though. We don't have our big boys anymore. Oh, no, no. These are dudes boarding. Oh, no, these dudes are boarding. What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Shortest Trip to Earth. I'm your host, the Birdman Otis Falcon. This right here is something I've had my hands on for a little over a month now. I haven't checked it out, though, just because when I took it out for a spin, it honestly kicked my ass. I played the tutorial to begin with, and I was like, okay, I think I got this. Jumped into a real game, and oh my god, problems arose really quickly. That being said, you know, there's been a bunch of balancing since then, and I'm hoping for a smoother experience this time around. I did take it out for a spin last night, but for now, it's going to start game over here. This is the vanilla one. You know, this is kind of like your... The, what's the one in FTL? The, the the Cluster? The Keister? It's been so long since I played FTL, as much as I love it. You know, it's the white one. The Cluster? Camero? <laughs> I'm just saying words randomly now, hoping I land one. It's the one I'm gonna go with because I feel more comfortable with. I'm not really good enough just yet, as I told you, the game's really punishing to test out all these other weird things. There's a bunch of unlockables, too. Again, very similar to FTL. So I'm gonna go with the Tigerfish right here. Now, you get seven random dudes. One of them happens to be a pet. I'm not sure if the pet does anything. That's them right there. We also have fate points. These guys dictate how many of these items you get to start off with, these perks, to start your run. The more you play the game, the more fate points you get for your, you know, following run. So, then you know what? Let me get Ratman, who apparently gives me more organics. And extra fuel tank. One capital missile is not too bad. All right, that's good. A malfunction in our ship's war drive landed us in deep space. Stranded away from all possibilities to refuel. Our only option was to freeze ourselves and accelerate towards the closest star. First thing I would suggest you do, go to your ship crew, find out who's manning what because the game automatically does this for you. So you might have like somebody that's good at weapons holding down shields and, you know, vice versa. So let's bring up all of my crew members right here. Move through there. And if I return all, you go back to where you were. Perfect. Okay, so now what we can do, this is a way for you to conserve food along the way. What I like to do is grab these guys, put them in here. Of course, when you go into combat, you have to wake them up and then put them in their spots, which takes time. So it's kind of a trade-off. It does conserve food, but when you go into fights, you're gonna be a little bit slower. Let's get on out of here. We are down here. What I'm going to suggest you do is instead of going into a space straight up, fly near it. This will tell you how long this, by the way, is taking us. So it's like field three and organics two. We're analyzing. We have an inhabited planet. Could be good, could be bad, not sure. Let's go in there. This planet is a colony of the Tree Friends, a philosophic society compromised of various species joined by revenants of plant life and trees. The galactic community tends to make sexual jokes about them and plants. Sounds like my kind of people. Um, do we land there or not? I think we absolutely land there. It's like, hey, I got some giggity jokes for you right here, buddy. Tree friends, we land at the visitor center of the colony. The representative welcomes us to freely explore the colony and meet their tree. The ancient organism is estimated to be about 80,000 years old. Explore the Dome City. The locals proved to be friendly and ready to share various sensual pleasures. They did not want anything from us except to hear our opinions on the nature of reality and to talk about plants. Everybody felt energized by the visit. Many decided they would like to return someday. Before leaving, the locals gave us a container full of local fruits and seeds as a gift. We got an extra fate point for the next run and we got 110 extra food. It's a gas giant, which means we could probably get some fuel off of this. Let's give this a try. This gas giant has a thin layer of harvestable fuel elements in the outer layers of atmosphere. General atmospheric conditions are mild, but a few small plasma storms have been detected. Harvest. This could be bad sometimes, but... Atmospheric activity starts to intensify during the mining process, threatening to turn into a full-scale planet-wide megastorm. The crew is quickly recalled into the ship, but our mining equipment is still in the atmosphere. Abort the mission. Wrist metal and synthetics, 250 and 300. Feel is so important that I'm going to risk it. Our minor bots were able to bring back only a few loads of fuel before we lost contact with them. So we got 23 fuel for the exchange of 40 metals and 20 synthetics. Not great. 23 fuel is virtually nothing. So we took a gamble, didn't really play off. 
This is the last area here in this area, on this um, system, I guess. Fat on 7, planet with thin atmosphere. There's also an encrypted broadcast here. Let's check it out. A structure of the planet's surface is emitting some kind of unknown signal. The planet itself is under is in, uninteresting and lacks significant vegetation. Let's explore it. Got the Cussian Library. It is an ancient autonomous library built by the Cussians. Their long disappeared civilization is infamous for its cruelty, but also love of knowledge. The library might contain boat traps and valuable data. It would be unwise to attempt dismantling the entire tower. The Cussians had access to terrible weapons, including warp rays that disrupt mines. Yeah, uh, do we have exotics? Oh, we don't. Oh, we could have gotten that for some mental fortitude. We could lose a couple of people here early on. I'm gonna try it just for the premise of you guys not making fun of me for not daring to win. Please nobody die. We investigated the halls and corridors of the library without finding any traps. The library administration AI offered us highly valuable data for free. We got 200 credits and one fate point and nothing bad happened to us. Ha! Alrighty. This was a very good first system. Let's jump now, boys. So let's go over to Sector. Warp to that destination, if you don't mind. And each jump is 50. Alrighty, so this might be, as we mentioned, a signal for trade. Nothing else here doesn't seem unless we go and peruse about. But I would like some fuel. We have no exotics to sell. We got 450 credits though, so let's see here. No exotics to sell off. So for now, all we're gonna really do here is just buy all the fuel they have, so it costs me 250 credits. We have 450, so we're down to 200. You know, not a lot, but it's gonna have to do. So for now, confirm. And let's go over to one planet in Canaresia, and we have one trade signal and ship repairs available. I'm gonna go over here then. Now, we haven't seen what the dominant species of this area is. But I'm sure we eventually will. This is a planet with an atmosphere. Let's dock it. Thick atmosphere. Our sensors cannot penetrate the thick atmosphere of the planet. Giggity giggity. Initial data suggests highly corrosive environment and a fair chance of life. Let's explore. We found primitive life accustomed to thrive in extremely acidic environments of this planet. We need to pin or we need to print ceramic armor for our operatives to work in here. Um, it's going to cost us 50 synthetics, which uh, we do have. Go for it. Difficulties are about, oh no, no, no. Injury during research. Harvesting of organics proved more difficult than expected. The local plants have evolved various ways of protecting themselves with extremely corrosive molecular acid. One of our operatives researching the local life was careless and got sprayed with acid. Did, we, did he die? No, he found he lost H points, um, HP points, but he didn't die, thankfully. We did get 100 organic, which isn't really too important because right now everybody's asleep. We lost a synthetic for that one. We got 50 credits, so basically we traded 50 synthetics for eh, 54 food and 50 credits. Is it worth it? I don't... Eh, kind of, not really. Alrighty, uh, convert that into fuel. 340 of 900. There's a little cluster over here as well. Um, let's go through this side, and I'm hoping we can find something just hidden, but, uh, no such luck. La large asteroids, high water concentration. Um, for the asteroids, I would like a little bit of extra defense, so let's see about just randomly waking up whoever it is. You. Come over here. And commandeer the point defense, just because if it gets really asteroid and they come at us, this is a chance to blow them before they actually hit the ship. And you also gotta turn it on, so there it is. This is like the point of protection, by the way, the circle. So now let's go back over here and let's give this a try. This field of icy asteroids might have something interesting in it. Go for it. We've discovered a broken fuel tank among the asteroids next to a semi-frozen star fuel. Our bot scooped up the fuel, so we got 74 fuel and 30 medals for this. Perfect! Alrighty, let's uh, go ahead and jump. We haven't seen a fight yet. So now we're an asteroid, there's four planets- oh god! Well, mentioned fights, huh? The Organics Trader Insectoid Alliance. 
Noble fellow consciousness, let us trade forms of matter and energy for mutual ascension. Our fleet will be leaving this star after this trade, so this is a truly a once in a egg time offer. We got a bug that's willing to trade. I would get 150 organics for 100 credits, don't need that. I don't, I don't need food, buddy. And I could sell... I could get 60... I don't have any exotics either. So unfortunately, once in a lifetime, can't do it, bud. See you later. Alright, so we got four planets. We have Atra 3. Something here, something there, something there. Well, let's check out the one that's nearby. Orbital Mines! Shortly after entering the atmosphere, we encountered a swarm of mines that attached themselves to our ship hole and exploded, causing minor damage. Perhaps somebody's trying to protect this planet. Um, so we lost one hit point to our ship and we lost 20 metals and 15 synthetics. Not happy about that, but we continue. The planet is completely covered with water and is probably home to a lush ecosystem. Presence of sentience is highly likely due to ship-like objects and floating platforms spotted in the ocean. Send shuttles into atmosphere for a closer look. Go for it. Hey! Exploration team has verified presence of early civilization. It is divided into small tribes who spend only a fraction of their time fishing. Most of the time, most of the life revolves around who shares boat with whom and who and how tribes are formed. Surprisingly, the entire civilization seems to lack weapons or notion of war. We might consider leaving such a rare species culture undisturbed. Um, let's uh, let's contact them. Why not? After modeling their language and basic customs, our explorers make themselves known to the fishermen. It turns out they call themselves the Freemen and hold freedom of each to choose their own companions in highest regard. So we got 25 food and one faith when we're doing this. Let's do the industrial scale biomass. Hey! Well, we got more food than we ever would need at the moment, but we got 100 credits out of it too. The Freemen hold the ritual of compassion to commemorate all the killed sea animals. <gasps> oh my, I, I, I killed their animals for this. Oh, I'm a total scumbag. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I should have left you free men alone. It's human nature to kill, what can I say? Alrighty. Atra number one, planet with atmosphere. The planet is covered in ruins of primitive, probably digital age civilization. Particular craters on the surface indicate the possibility that this civilization might have wiped themselves out in a nuclear war a few thousand years ago. Or are they humans? <laughs> like us. Analysis indicate a possibility to scavenge various resources. Go ahead and do it. Thus far, we've been going balls to the wall. Hasn't been too bad. All remains of the past civilization were heavily degraded by time. No active defense system or dangerous life forms detected. Got fuel? Metals? Wow, we got a ton of good stuff. While leaving the planet, one of our inner system exploration drones discovered that the nearby moon has an artificial structure. It seems to contain active technology, possibly automated defense system. Is that like the Death Star? Investigate with Mothership? Sure. I think we ran into the- We're under attack! Oh no, the Death Star had ro missiles and rockets. It wasn't a, a fight that we have to deal ourselves, it was just a random event. Um, we lost four hit points to our ship, but we got a module, fuel, we got a lot of good stuff. I'm down to lose four for all the stuff that we just got right now. Um, Long range biotech. You're broken, so we gotta fix you beforehand or we could just scavenge you, huh? Improved ship sensor? Oh, dude! So you're a uh, upgrade to my little terrible sensor. As a matter of fact, Ripley Funky, how about you handle some repairs right here? <laughs> That's a good name, by the way, Ripley Funky. Okay, it's it's active now. Are you? Oh wow, no, we still have the, yeah, we have the, even a bigger wider array. Dude, that's awesome. Okay, we got a better, um, thing. And we don't have to have people use that or fix that one up for us. Okay, well, that's good. Since you're awake, I'm gonna keep you awake. Are you a good fixer? You're a one, terrible, but you know what? Let's have you remain awake and start fixing my ship a little bit. Let's make you the ship repair officer. Off you go, fix whatever you gotta fix, all good. And now this thing over here is its own sensor. Don't have to even commandeer it ourselves. All right, this is like actually like one of the best runs I've had only because we haven't run to combat. So let's get on out of here, back to the star system. This planet has complex automated processing facilities with no property markings. It seems the factory are slowly processing volatile chemicals into star fuel. Ooh, more fuel would be nice. Manually hack the facility locks, steal fuel. Print digger bots lost underground is going to cost loot underground storage for 120 metals. We got it. 
Let's do that one. It only cost us 60 in the long run, and we got 195 fuel. Perfect! Yo, I'm gonna actually make it out into the out of the first sector for once, I think. <laughs> oh, here comes a scumbag to fight. Approaching ship, we detect a single ship rapidly approaching tactical weapons. It broadcasts Rat Empire credentials. Alien vessels, this star system is Rat Empire property. In according to local rules, all alien visitors must pay the property visiting tax or be immediately destroyed. So we can try to bribe them with four exotics, which we don't have. And we have Rat Crew on board? So we are not alien and shouldn't pay? <gasps> we do have a rat, dude. You say you are rats, but why is your ship not built in the Rant Empire? That foreign influence? Anyway, I'm in a good mood today, so I would charge you a reduced price. A hundred credits to not fight? Sure. Carry on, existing visitor. But remember that each visit to guarded territory will cost you separately. Oh, so we're not done yet, huh? It seems the sector has been claimed by Rat Empire, greedy little mammals who are as nice as long as you can pay. It seems it's gonna shake me down whenever I get anywhere, though. Oh. You guys have stuff for sale here, huh? Let's buy this. And I'm gonna install it over the industrial missile platform. Perfect. Come over here. Let's sell my one exotic for 30 credits. And how are we doing on fuel? We're at 500. Let's buy... We got 97 credits. I'll just keep it at that. That's fine. What do you break down to? 40 metals and need synthetics? Let's keep you around just in case. This long-range warp gate is property to the Red Empire. They want me to bay before I use it, of course. I don't have enough exotics. I don't have enough credits. Your rules inspire me to question them. Ready to for battle? Let's prepare for this fight properly. Yeah. Okay. So, we're gonna finally get into a fight here. Let's go over to the ship. Awaken everybody, so... Return to your locations, wake up! Let's do it, boys. Ready for battle. Slow it down! Okay, so here is our FDL-type fight, as I've mentioned. Uh, you're offline, that's true. But you're at a two? Oh man, I would've preferred for you to be, like, four. Okay, well... They have like a million people aboard that ship. Okay. For a fact, this shield emitter has to go down. So, hopefully you land, boy. Let's go over to Sniper Cannon. Normally you want to like aim where the square line is kind of like at. That's your chance to hit. Anything within that square. So... I'm hoping... Preferably there, but anything of those batteries here would be nice. Let's go for it. So here's our missile to begin with. Oh, they have- oh, no, no. Yeah, see, our, sh our little lasers do nothing to their shields for now. They're sending off this thing at me. I hope our flak thing kind of recovers it. It's shooting in. Oh, it's gonna land. We actually hit their shields, I think. Did we? Oh, we totally did. We brought it down by... Four. We still got six to go. They're sending a ton of stuff after us. Did that thing hit us? Or did we manage to blast it out of the sky? No, it totally hit us because this is over here, like, kind of like... A little bit on fire. Oh, they're fixing. They're running over here to fix as soon as possible. Oh, no, 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 no. One of our lasers just went down. Luckily, it was a laser, which isn't really doing much for us at the moment. Um, Ratman? Going to repair industrial laser, good. And you, um, should already be fixing that yourself. Nice! Nice! Oh, it still has 2 HP! It's still got 2 HP! Sniper dude! Oh! Sniper dude! Hit! It's down to a 1! And we also got one of their batteries. Like, once that goes down, we could go laser happy. We're out of missiles, though. We don't have our big boys anymore. Is Radman dead? Oh no no! These are dudes boarding! Oh no! These dudes are boarding! I wasn't prepared for this. Um, okay, you guys, you guys... Like... You guys here. Fight it out! Oh god! Oh jeez Louise. Hey, um... Laser man, you know what? You're not doing much, so... Give us a hand here too. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I've never dealt with invaders before. This is as far as I've ever gotten. Are we still trying to bring this down? Oh, dude, they're fixing it again. There's just no way. I don't think I have enough firepower to bring that thing down. We got the... Oh, the batteries are down, boys! This is it! Are we paused? We're paused. Hey, hey, um, laser bro. Just anywhere that's really important. Oh my god. They are overrunning us now. Dude, we're gonna lose to a boarding party and not to a ship? Alright, this is like comical at this point now. They're blowing up my guy. Everything's offline. Oh, <laughs> there was a chance to win. And on this boarding party, just killed everything. Oh. There's still a dude there. Sniper bro, keep keep doing your thing. No! Shield bro. Bring him down. Sniper, keep doing your thing. If I'm going down, they're going down with me. Just keep doing your thing, sniper bro. Please. Come around the corner and shoot him properly. He's dead. Okay, he's dead. Um, hey, get your ass here. Commandeer that. Turn this on. Do we? Oh, we don't have enough power to turn it on. No. Oh, it's on. It is on. Okay, you're going down, you scums. How much HP? No, their shields are back up. You scum of the world! Shoot it over here! Oh, the laser couldn't get through, of course! Oh, the shields are back down! Oh, of course, after, after that hit. Here we go, here we go, come on! Oh! They only got 12? They're down to 10? I hope those missiles miss! If not, it'll be problematic! Anything over here? Oh, they landed back there, all right. At least one of them did. Oh, nice! Something else that's big was dropped. Come on, come on. <gasps> They're down to four. Oh, you're gonna go down. And my run is virtually done, but this thing's going down. I think, unless the fires overwhelm us. Missiles, come on. Oh, yes. Oh, we're still going to get bombarded. <laughs> well, we lost everything, but we won. I'm getting out of the sector. Please let me get out of the sector. Store that. Oh, uh, the closest star. Yes. Yeah. We exited the warp game. <laughs> we lost everything in the process, but we got it done. And we unlocked the rogue red. Yeah! This is a victory of my part. We're gonna wrap it up here, guys. This is the shortest trip to where all the information will be down below. If you wanna see a bit more, let me know in the comments. Um, this run is basically toast, though, I would say. I will catch you next time.